All right, Shalom. Starts lesson. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem and Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone and citation to the sincere Akim, pushing his truth and all truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth diligently. All right, and basically what I want to go into is this Ecclesiastes 3 and 3, which it says a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. All right, and basically what I want to go into. Reading this little, uh, this verse right here, all right, I want to focus on the point where it says a time to break down and a time to build up, all right? And there's there's a time always to what? Destroy and a time to what? To establish, all right? Which that's about to come into fruition, which it has been happening. It has been happening, all right? Because, hey, the Lord, the scriptures talk about it, Daniel, the fourth chapter, the Lord uh, rules, he dwells in the kingdom of men, all right? And you see that, man. A kingdom will fall and another kingdom will come up. A kingdom will be destroyed and another kingdom will come up. A kingdom will be destroyed and another kingdom will be what established. All right? And that's about to happen for the last time right now. All right? This kingdom, which is a so-called white man's kingdom, which the so-called white men are the Edomites, which are actually red. All right? This is their kingdom right now. They're ruling. They have everything, you know, right now. They're not troubled. You know, this is their kingdom, all right? But real soon, this kingdom will be destroyed, all right? In the kingdom of Yasharala, which Yasharala is the Israelites, their kingdom will what? Be established. It will be what? Built up, all right? It will be built up, but it's going to be built up forever, everlasting. It will never fall after this, all right? After this, the nation of Israel will never fall, all right? Because what we will be established, we will be 100% righteous. We'll have new bodies. The laws will be written in our inward parts. All right. The Lord ultimately is going to pardon us from our iniquities. All right. Uh, you read Acts 3 and 19. It tells you that the Lord is going to blot out our sins. All right. All those things are about to come, man. All right. Real soon. All right. The Lord is about to destroy this kingdom and raise up the kingdom, the kingdom of Yasharala. All right. Our job is to do what? Prophesy and wait. Prophesy and what? Wait for the kingdom of heaven to come into play. Wait for our Lord Yahweh Shai to come to save the day. Which our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, the reason why I say Yahweh Shai, because that's the true name that these people in the world call Jesus Christ. All right? Which Jesus Christ is not the true name of our Savior. All right? Who's coming to save us and deliver us. His true name is Yahweh Shai. All right? And he has a remnant. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai have set up a remnant, all right? Which the remnant is the 144,000 that they're coming back, the Lord Yahweh Shai and the angels are coming back to save. The, 100, the 144,000 and that one third, all right? And two thirds of the nation of Israel, you know, will partake of that second death, all right? It's going to be two thirds that's going to partake of that second death. It's going to be a one forty four thousand and a one third that's going to be, be beamed up in them chariots. All right. Which the nation of Israel represents. All right. Are. Are and represents, you know, Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. All right. Those are the nations. Of, that's the nation of Israel. All right. The Israelites. All right. And we're also the kingdom of heaven. All right. We're the kingdom of heaven. The Israelites. All right. And Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is about to establish a kingdom for us, man. All right? No more sorrow. No more crying. No more going through hell. All right? The Lord going to, you know, cast all that away. Cast it into the sea. <laughs> you know? Ain't going to need to worry about, man, how I'm going to pay my bills anymore. None of that shit, man. Because you're going to be real soon in rulership. You're going to be ruling, man. All right? I'm going to read this one more time and then uh, go to the next precept. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 3. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. Right. It was a time to kill and a time to heal. All right. A time to break down, a time to destroy, and a time to build up. All right. A time to what? Establish. All right. Another kingdom. All right. A righteous kingdom. All right. And the Lord been what? Breaking down kingdoms. All right. And establish it others. But what? These kingdoms haven't been righteous. All right. What the Lord about to do for the elect, the Israelites, is about to break down the kingdom of Esau. All right. And establish a righteous kingdom. All right. Read Proverbs 28 and 9. Oh, no, forgive me. 29 and 2. 
Proverbs 29 and 2. Read Daniel 7 and 18. All right, the saints shall take the kingdom. All right, why will we take the kingdom? We're going to need to take it by force. The Lord's going to give us spiritual power to take the kingdom because this, the so-called white man that's ruling this kingdom is not going to give this kingdom up freely. All right, and the scriptures talk about it. All right, the Bible talks about it in Isaiah. It's either Isaiah 6 or I believe Isaiah 9. All right. Every battle is with confused noise, with swords and so on and so forth. All right. So every battle, every establishment of kingdoms. All right. Every breaking down and a rebuilding up of another kingdom. They always had to go through war. There always has to be. There was always warfare, warfare, you know, and there's going to be warfare for the for the destroying of this kingdom and the rising up of the kingdom of Israel. All right. Which the Lord will give the elect spiritual power. All right. We're going to be breaking these governments, all right, these nations, as it tells you in Isaiah 41. We're going to get busy, all right? We're going to be doing our thing because the Lord is going to give us power to do so. We don't got no might in our hands right now. But what the scriptures say in Isaiah 41, fear not, the die worm uh, Jacob, roughly paraphrasing, you know, the Lord will help us, all right? And how will the Lord help us? He will give us spiritual power. He's going to deliver us. He gonna he gonna allow us to do certain to, uh, certain things in the times to come, and he will deliver us from certain things in the times to come as well. All right, Isaiah fifty nine and nineteen. All right, east uh, come as a flood. The Lord gonna lift up a standard. And I I know I'm just throwing out a lot of scriptures. You know I'm not trying to make this long. I'm trying to make this brief. You can go grab the scriptures on your own time as well and read it as well. You know, but basically, you know, I just want to make this that main focus of this lesson. All right, that the Lord, he going to build, he going to break down this kingdom and build up a better kingdom, man. All right, an everlasting kingdom, man. All right, a kingdom where no pain, no, no, no crying. My son died, my baby died, you know, no abortions, no eating pork, none of that. That's all of that is going to be done away with, man. All right. Righteousness will be on the planet Earth, you know, and I'm going to go grab that. Revelation 21, verse 4. Revelation 21, verse 4. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Right. So ain't, gonna, ain't no more crying, ain't no more sorrow, ain't no more fucking death, no pain, none of that shit is going to be through, all right? All of that is through, and you know that, and you know that's not talking about right now, because <laughs> there's still death going on, still people crying, still people protesting, our people still protesting, which the shit don't work, but they still doing it, you know? Our people crying, oh, my baby died, you know, they got shot down in the streets, so on and so forth. Man, you ain't gonna need to worry about that real soon. Where we about to what we about to receive, man, the Lord gonna wipe away all tears, man. All all sorrow, man. Everything, man. And we're not the only things, we're not the only people that's 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 in pain right now. You know, that's suffering, that's you know, that's you know crying, you know, in grief, you know, sorrowful. We're not the only ones, even the animals are you know, even the animals are in pain, man. Basically, they're 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 sorrowful. They're crying, you know, on the inside. You know, shit. The the trees are crying. Goddamn, everything. You know, the the air. Everything's crying. Cause what? There's no righteousness on the planet Earth right now, man. Second Ezra fifteen tells you that, man. The world is exceedingly wicked, man. All right, because there's a wicked ruler on the planet Earth right now. But real soon, the Lord about to fucking take this man out of rulership. And Yasharala will rule, man. All right? Come on, bro. This is only right. This is only right. What's that scripture? It was just in my mind. Yup, got it. Romans. Romans 8, I believe, 22 or 23. Yep. Romans 8 and 22, for we know that the whole uh, the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. So what? They still, all the creation, are the animals. Come on, they're still groaning, all right? They're in pain. 
the plants, the trees, they're in pain, man. All right, we're in pain. Why? Because there's a wicked ruler on the planet Earth. All right, I'm not supposed to be waking up every morning and seeing momos. I'm not supposed to be seeing weird shit, man. You know, and it's even worse that I can't even say it on YouTube, you know, just to use wisdom. All right, because this devil may take down my lesson. All right. Which is to edify the elect, man. You know? I'm not supposed to be waking up seeing a Momo every morning. You know? Waking up, you know, seeing Momo, seeing women talk talk that rah-rah shit. Come on, I'm not supposed to be waking up seeing this shit. Alright? I'm supposed to be waking up to righteousness. Seeing my children run around in the streets. Playing with animals. Alright? Going to go beat some Edomites' <laughs> asses, man. You know, I was supposed to be seeing my wife, you know, submit to me, man. In righteousness. You know, call me, you know, call me, you know, her Lord, her King. You know, in righteousness. My King, you know. Call me, you know, my King. You know. I'm not supposed to be running around, you know, seeing women. <laughs> like, boy, don't be talking to me right now. Or my children, like, hey, don't do that. Man, you don't tell me what to do. Man, that's off, man. That's off. That's not supposed to be, <laughs> that's not supposed to be something that's normal. This is not common. You know, this is not supposed to be common. It's common in these times, all right? It is common in these times, all right? But best believe it wasn't going on back back then in the ancient ancient times. All right, in the ancient world, it was not going back, back, going on back then. If a child was disobedient, go stone this motherfucker, man. All right. And in the kingdom of heaven, you're not even gonna need to worry about stoning that nigga anymore, man. All right, because in the kingdom of heaven, he gonna be righteous. His children gonna be righteous. His children's children gonna be righteous. You gonna be righteous. Your wife gonna be righteous. Your other wife gonna be righteous. Your thousand wives gonna be righteous. And yes, you're not gonna only have one wife. You know. This like this lesson could be ongoing, but I'm gonna cut it short, man. All right, it's, it could be ongoing, but I'm gonna cut it short, man. You know, <laughs> it, it's so much precepts, but I'm gonna cut it short, man. I just want to hit the point with that the Lord about to destroy this kingdom, all right, the kingdom of Esau, and He's about to rise up a righteous kingdom. And Lord's will come back with a part two, all right. Once again, the Lord about to destroy this kingdom, and He about to what? Establish a righteous kingdom on the earth, which is the kingdom of the Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, the so-called white man, he put y'all at the bottom, which we are at the bottom because of the curses, but real soon we're about to be at the top again, and they're going to be at the bottom. All right, so hold on, you know, keep doing what you got to do. Turn back to the Lord, all right, which the Lord, the true Lord is Yahweh, who these people in the world ignorantly call God. They ignorantly call him God or Jehovah. And, you know, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, who they evilly call Jesus Christ. Turn back to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim meaning in the name. All right. Turn back to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Repent. Acknowledge that hey, you was being an asshole. All right. I was eating pork. I was committing adultery. I was smoking weed, Lord. Hey, I was a mess. I still, I still am a mess. But I'm trying my best to get better, though. Could you save me, Lord? Turn back to the Lord. Do his will. You know, whatever he may set you up to do, better it might be a prophet. You might need to prophesy unto people. All right, you might be just to be, you know, uh, give give gifts to brothers. You know, heal. You know, you know, show your charity. You know, give alms. You know, whatever it may be, whatever your office may be, just ask the Lord and turn back to the Lord. And ask the Lord for forgiveness. All right, and do His will. All right, whatever He may set you up to do, whatever His will is for you to do, do it. All right. So what, Lord, is where we can establish this kingdom, this everlasting kingdom in the first go around. All right. We don't need a part of that second death. But may Lord, is where we'll be beamed up in those chariots. So, Lord, is where this lesson was edifying, exhorting and beneficial to the hopeful elect souls. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone and citation to sincere Akim, pushing truth and all truth and sincerity to all the folk on this earth diligently. Let's keep going, let's keep fighting. Shalom.